Thank you very much and uh, good morning to you ladies and gentlemen and thank you for allowing me to speak to you today. It is a great privilege to be on the stage to follow both Roger Tomlinson and Jack Dangermon who are both in my view uh, gods of this world on this stuff. In fact I now feel very much like Brittany Spears' new boyfriend. I, um, I know what's expected of me but how will I make this interesting for you uh, after having had those two gentlemen speak to you. Could I ask the man running the lights, please, to uh, drop the lights on me and this down? I really would like to, if possible, uh, share with you as I'm speaking, because I'm pretty boring, I'd like to share with you some lovely templates of photos from my home country of New Zealand. And to show you that I have a little bit of a background in this area, uh, I want to tell you that I did uh, do a degree, a master's degree in operations research. Uh, I wrote Pro, uh, assembler code for mainframe computers, moved to Fortran, COBOL and PL1. None of this will mean anything to the new generation of people who <laughs> don't know what working with program cards are. But I still dabble in writing. I'm a very sick person. I write in Visual Basic and C++ from time to time just to keep my hand in. And I think it's fair to say, because I'm on record in New Zealand, saying well in advance of a whole lot of the technologies coming. I remember telling the cabinet many, many years ago that the internet was going to change everything about our lives. And the Prime Minister of the time used to make fun of me and said, you reckon this thing called the internet when it comes really going to be that big? Well, I've got a lovely photo. Jack shared you a photo from the old days. Can we drop these lights even more? I really want to get that as clear as I can up there. That's a photo of me with the first IBM PC in New Zealand. Uh, I was still playing rugby, uh, and we were still winning in those days. <laughs> and I got that in uh, September of 1981, and you know the IBM PC was only released in August of 1981, so we've got the first one in New Zealand at Air New Zealand. So I programmed that damn little thing uh, with BASIC, and boy was that hard going. You don't know how lucky you are to have some of the sophisticated machines you've got today. But the point I wanted to talk to you all today about was just how appalling one element of information has been for us all. We know what a win means. A when can be a date, and every one of you will know what the 27th of July is. When it's put on a spreadsheet or it's put on a graph or whatever, you'll know that. And you'll know what if we've got a graph of wheat that has been grown. And you'll know how much. If I said it was 3.75 tonnes, you know what that means. And you'll even know its value if it was $4,720 of value. You'll even know where it might have been sourced from or how it was produced. But the where, if I was to tell you it came from Kaikoura or Narawahia, you wouldn't have a clue. Actually, some people in New Zealand don't even know where that is, but you wouldn't have a clue. And from my perspective, the real big gains that we can make now are turning that into information that is visible and that human beings can see. What I have is a vision in New Zealand already of being able to take maps of our cities or our towns or even our rural areas and overlay on them things like demand for services, layers and layers of things like the police information, our hospital services information, social service delivery, then draw lassoes around specific suburbs within that town, find out where the shortfall is, look at that carefully, and decide whereabouts we need to provide more product and more services. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, my speech is called Geospatial, The Next Frontier. Because I'm absolutely convinced. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm referred to back in New Zealand as an evangelist. And I'm so pleased that this is a Sunday morning and I'm up here on the pulpit <laughs> as an evangelist. Because I do feel evangelical about this whole GIS revolution. It is the next frontier. I still think we're standing on the beach at Kitty Hawk watching a flimsy piece of balsa wood and material get flying. But in the future, I actually have views that in my mathematics background, not only will you...